guys, today we are at Kanapali Beach, a world-renowned beach. This is voted one of Hawaii's best beaches. So behind me here we have beautiful black rock known for snorkeling, swimming, diving. It's just a great time all around. So while we all enjoy being out in the sun and having fun, we do want to be careful of our skin and we do want sun protection. So I'm here today to give you all of my best sun care tips. So when it comes to sunscreen, you have your choice of natural or chemical sunscreens. Now, what is the difference? So we have chemical sunscreens. Those are going to basically soak in and absorb into your skin. They're going to absorb the UVA or UVB rays. You want to look for broad spectrum protection. That's going to absorb both. Now, when it comes to a natural sunscreen, those are going to have physical sunblocks in them, sunblock active ingredients. The ones that you're going to look for are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. A physical sunscreen, which is what most natural sunscreens have, is going to basically produce a physical layer protecting your skin from the sun. I picked out my top sunscreen choices and starting with my favorite, this is DeVita Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30. This is all natural, all the ingredients completely natural and the active sunscreen ingredient is 19% zinc oxide. That this goes on so smooth, blends in completely sheer and clear, it feels just like a moisturizer, it does not feel like one of those sticky greasy sunscreens. The second natural sunscreen I have for face is by Josie Moran, and this is SPF 40, another completely all natural ingredient sunscreen with the main active ingredients being titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So you have a blend there, SPF 40. This does take a little more work to blend in, but it does go sheer, no white cast. Now, if you're on a budget, you might not want to spring for the all-natural sunblocks because those do tend to run a little bit higher. So I've picked my top two from the drugstore, and this one I actually got online as well. So this is Kiss My Face, Face Factor, Face and Neck, SPF 30. Excellent sunblock, blends in clear, no white cast whatsoever. My number two choice from the drugstore would be Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock SPF 30. This also blends in completely clear, no white cast whatsoever, feels good on the skin, and does not clog pores. Sunblocks for your body. Okay, you again have your choice of natural versus chemical. My favorite is completely natural. This is again the DeVita Solar Body Block SPF 30. Blends in beautifully, smooth, sheer, feels just like a regular light body moisturizer not heavy, not greasy, disappears instantly. I've chosen two chemical sunscreens that are my favorite in that category. This is the Kiss My Face Sunspray Lotion SPF 30. Comes in a spray pump, very handy, easy to blend in, completely sheer, does not feel sticky, tacky, greasy, doesn't feel like your average sunscreen, and it blends in beautifully. Another great affordable option is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Aloe Vera SPF 30. Now this does say natural sunblock, however this is not a natural sunblock. It does have three active sunscreen ingredients that are chemical. It also contains titanium dioxide, but overall this is a great sunblock. It works well, it feels good, it blends in like a moisturizer, it smells amazing, and I would recommend it. Now I know we've all been warned about the sun damage and premature aging that can occur from tanning. Although I know there are still some sun worshippers out there, some sun seekers that insist on laying out at the beach, insist on laying out at the pool, and you know who you are. While it's nice to get your vitamin D and get a little bit of color from the sun, you do want to protect yourself because you do not want to end up weathered and leathered and wrinkly looking. So I'm here to give you a few tips on that. Now it's easy to want to go out and lay out with like a dark tanning oil, but don't do that. You do need to have some kind of SPF, even if it's just a little bit, it's better than nothing at all. So two of my favorites are by Australian Gold. This is Australian Gold SPF 8 with instant bronzer. This is the Australian Gold SPF 15 lotion sheer coverage. So while you may want to grab for that dark tanning oil on your next vacation, go for a small SPF 8. It's better than nothing at all. But better yet, instead of going for that SPF 8, you can go for the SPF 15. It will still give you a little bit of color from the sun, but it will protect you much better than the SPF 8. And it also has the UVA and UVB broad spectrum protection. One of my favorite ways to protect from the sun is by wearing a sun hat. You can look cute, accessorize, they come in all different colors, shapes, sizes. I like the broad brimmed ones. My favorite brand is actually by Sunday Afternoons and they come in all different colors. I 
I always recommend protecting your eyes. Your eyes are very sensitive. You only get one set of them. You need to protect them, especially if you're around glaring water. If you're at lakes, rivers, beaches, you need to protect your eyes, even at a pool. So make sure you have a good pair of sunglasses. Now these are Maui Gems. These are my favorites. These are the ones that I would recommend if you can get them. They are a little pricier, so if you are on a budget, just make sure that your sunglasses, if they can't be polarized, which I would recommend, if they can't be polarized, at least go for a UVA, UVB protection. Now if you like big sunglasses, that's great because they're not only stylish, but they also help protect your eyes all the way around. Don't forget to protect your lips. Your lips actually are more prone to peeling and burning and chapping than the rest of your body. So they definitely need their sun protection. So two products that I recommend. Well, always number one, make sure that you wear a chapstick or lip moisturizer that contains a sunscreen. So these are two. Uh, this is a higher end one. This is Fresh Sugar. And this is SPF 15. This is Kiss My Face Vanilla Honey in SPF 15 as well. So if you're on a budget, you can go with the Kiss My Face and it works just as well as the fresh sugar. And neither of these have that nasty sunblock taste. After your day of fun in the sun, you do want to make sure that you take care of your skin. So after sun, skin care is extremely important. I always recommend that everyone apply an aloe spray or gel. Don't make any rubbing motions. You want to just spray it on lightly or rub it on very lightly. Uh, it really helps replenish lost moisture from your skin and helps reduce any peeling in case you did get any kind of sunburn. It will definitely help out a lot with that. Also, there are several other um, products on the market for after sun skin care, um, after sun lotions, the Alba Botanica. This is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian After Sun Lotion in Kona Coffee. Smells delicious and replenishes moisture wonderfully. Even after you've done your after sun skincare regimen, you still want to make sure you take extra good care of your skin. So I have four completely natural body lotions to share with you. These two are my favorite. These are by 100% Pure. This is the Vanilla Bean Nourishing Body Cream. This is the Coconut Nourishing Body Cream. These smell amazing. They're completely all natural, soothing to your skin, and I highly recommend checking them out. Next, I have the John Masters Organics. This is a blood orange and vanilla body milk. This is a very lightweight lotion. It's easy to wear. It's not sticky, not tacky, feels great on, absorbs immediately, and it smells amazing. It smells like uh, orange cream, like 50-50 bar. It's just delicious. So those are a little pricier. So if you're on a budget, I highly recommend Desert Essence Organics. This is the Tropical Coconut Hand and Body Lotion. They have a whole range of different fragrances. They're all amazing. They work well, they blend in, they absorb immediately, and they feel good. So all natural, this is a great option. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the prices for everything and any links that I can find in the down bar for you guys. I hope that you found these tips helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always do my best to get back to you and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. You're cute. You're cute. Um, I got on. Oh, it's getting hot. Yikes. Poor oh. thing. Get in the water. Jump in. Should I buy you some board shorts at a store? <laughs> no. I'll take you there. I know. You're so so wet. No. Should I take down a little? No, I've been cool. standing in the same spot. Um, cool. Should I put After your after sun skincare regimen. <clears throat> no, no, that's not right. <clears throat> Ah, uh, it's gonna come straight on now, right? So, ooh, hey. Another. Yes. Now, after you've had a great day of playing out in the sun, you want to take care of your son. Of your son. <laughs> uh, oof. Oop, 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 oop. 